Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Miranda. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel to grow and we just hit 300 subscribers. So thank you everybody. So today we're going to be doing my budget for July. If you're new, I am a teacher, so I get paid once a month. I usually get paid on the 25th of every month. If the 25th falls on a holiday or on the weekend, then I usually get paid the Friday before that. So we're actually getting paid on the 23rd this month. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my budget for July or until my July paycheck. So I always start with my debt that I have. So my mortgage is $789. It's just myself, so my house is not anything fancy. So it's not as expensive as what some other as what some of you might have. And then my Jeep payment is $540. I have about two years, I think, left on that. And then personal is $500. So that goes for debt, and when you add all of that up, it is 1,829. And I did have a question about investing last in my last budget video. I do invest, however, it comes automatically out of my paycheck, so I don't ever see it. I invest towards like my retirement, things like that that I have set up to come directly out. So my paycheck is after those things come out of it. Um, I also, once I finish paying off my Jeep and my personal that I have, I do plan on investing more at that point. Right now, I just it's just not what I'm doing. However, I do intend to do that in the future. Okay, so then we're gonna go to my bills. And these are things that I know automatically come out every month or that I know I need a specific amount for. So for gas, we're gonna do 125. Electric, we're gonna do 150. Now my electric bill usually is not that much, so I either use the extra towards something else or I put it into my savings binder that I'm going to get started again here soon. Water, we're gonna do 80. Streaming is eight, I only have Sirius XM right now. Monthly subs is 50. Yearly subs is 30. This is just where I go ahead and start saving so I have that money when each subscription comes out. My insurance for my car is 102. My mom, I usually give her 75 for my portion of the phone bill. And then my internet is 86. Now I do round up. So like on my insurance, it's actually 101 and some change. So I just round up to the next dollar. Same with my mortgage over here and my internet, things like that. Okay, and then there are a few things down here at the bottom that I budget for every month, but I have them down here instead of in bills. So for food, I'm doing 300 now to see if that will help me a little bit. I was doing 250 and I tended to go over every time, so we're gonna adjust that a little bit. My pets, I do 250. Now I don't spend 250 on my pets every month. I usually spend about a hundred dollars and that is for cat litter and dog food. But my dogs have to get groomed. One of my dogs has some health issues that I have to get medicine for her every month or refill medicine for her every month. And so this way when I budget, I have money left over that accumulates, and so when it's time to, for a big purchase or a vet visit or a grooming, I have that money already. I don't have to charge it on a credit card or anything like that. Long care, I go ahead and do 68 every month. I have a lawn care service that sprays for weeds and that just makes sure that the lawn is looking decent. Um, and they come about six times a year, so I just go ahead and budget every month for that, and then any that I have left over goes towards either savings or I save up for anything that I need for the lawn or the backyard, flowers, things that I would like 
to make the lawn or the outdoors look a little bit nicer. So when you add, I forgot to do this, when you add up all the bills, it is $706. And then something new that I've added this time is roll the dice. So I got this idea from, and bought it from Jordan Budgets. So what it is, is you roll the dice however many times you wanna do for your paycheck. Since I only get paid once a month, I decided I'm gonna do six numbers each paycheck so it comes out to I believe $168 when this is filled up so I'm gonna do six numbers each time and then what I'm gonna do once that's filled up I'm gonna move it either to the 50 envelope challenge that I'm going to start over Oops. this is also from Jordan budget so I'm gonna start that over or I'm gonna put it towards the 100 envelope challenge i haven't decided yet but the 50 envelope challenge is 1275 once you fill it up and then the 100 envelope i think it's 10,000, but i'm i may be 5,000. i can't remember but yeah so the, hopefully that will help me to do that i haven't been doing any savings challenges lately just because i've been focusing on other things, but I also have space for any extra ones or fives, tens, twenties, or whatever I decide to do. So I'm going to focus on roll the dice. So when I rolled before I decided to do my budget, I rolled three sixes, two threes, and a four, and that came out to $28. So I went ahead and wrote that down so that I know how much I'm gonna have left over to put towards my high priority funds and my low priority funds. What I do next is I add up my debt, my bills, and what I already have written in to see how much I have left over. 1829 plus 706 plus 550 plus 28 plus 68. So that's 3181. And then I just subtract that from how much my paycheck is. So 3321 minus 3181. So that is 100, whoops, 140 left to go into my other funds here. And no, that is not a lot, but it's just how my budget is. I know that a lot of people want to invest or put some in savings. These are like my savings here. So I'm saving up, but I'm, since I'm a zero based budget, this is the things that I'm allotting all of my money to. So different things that I know I need that I'm saving up for. So I put 140 on the calculator and then I decide where I want my money to go. So high priority goes first. However, I do have an eye appointment coming up in July. So, and it's before my next paycheck. So I need to make sure I have money in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 15 there. Then I subtract, whoops. I only did, there we go. Okay, and then household, I know I need to get toilet paper, so I'm gonna do 25 there. I get my toilet paper at Sam's, so it lasts me, it lasts me a few months at least. Okay, I've messed up somewhere. Okay, 140 minus 25 minus 15. Okay, so I now I have 100 left. I'm going to do, I'm gonna do 10 in car maintenance. Um, I'm gonna do 40 in home maintenance because there is some stuff that I want to do to my house at some point or that's gonna need to be done. Self-care, I need to do 10 because I'm probably gonna need some more shampoo, things like that. I'm gonna go ahead and add 10 for school. That's back to school things that I might need for my classroom. I'm gonna mark out fun. That's not important right now. Gifts. I'm gonna go ahead and do five. For holidays, I'm gonna do 10. I'm gonna mark out travel right now since I don't, 
I just went on my trip, so I don't really need travel right now. We're going to do that last 15 in emergency. Then I go through and I make sure that it all adds up to my paycheck amount. And it does. So then I know that I have allotted all of my money to something. And so then what I do once my budget is done is I get out my cash breakdown page where I put the category, how much I'm taking out, and then I decide what bills I want for that category so that when I go to the bank on payday, I know exactly how many of each bill I need and the teller it's easy for the time. So I will show you that in my next video, but if you have any questions about my budget, um, you can leave those down in the comments below. And again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to follow along on this journey with me. I will see you in the next one. Bye!